students, I am Dr. Tanmoy Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel, Chemistry Ministry of Molecules. So today we are going to discuss an interesting MCQ about diazonal derivative. Okay. So what happens this diazonal this diazoalkane derivative when reacted with benzene and light? So what it results? So we have to find out what is the structure of the final product. Okay. So for that purpose, four options were provided. Now your your Work is to find out what is the right answer and second option definitely you can find out the right option but you need to know how this is happening because by simple guess cannot result good consequence. Okay. So as usual I first request two people please pause the video and try by yourself and definitely after that I shall provide logical explanation about the right answer and definitely at the end I shall give you a route or a strategy to get the right answer within 30 seconds. Okay, so please pause the video and try by yourself. I believe you have tried by yourself. Now let me give you the answer about this question. Before going to such question, as usual, I request you please look at the reagent and condition. What possible thing could happen? Just I am giving you this uh, task. Just do this right now and try to find out what could be the probable answer of this question. I believe this clue may help little and if you can find out the answer before or at this situation then very good. I appreciate your knowledge. Okay. So now let's discuss about the solution. What happens? When this diazonium salt is treated with H mu, it resulted in carbene formation. Okay. Means this. And this is attached to OET means this is resonance diagnosed. How? See, this can come here and it can come here. So this is CH double bond O minus OET. By the way, one important information I believe you must know that this is 6 electron species and this carbon is also a 6 electron species. So this is electron deficient and why this breakage by light happens very easily because it results in an elimination of nitrogen gas. Okay, it's a very stable molecule. Very stable because of nitrogen nitrogen triple bond. That's why this reaction occurs. Okay, and secondly, if you think about this reagent, this reagent is more reactive. Why? Right? Because, first of all, means you may consider. This charge is stabilized by the conjugation with car uh, this carboxyl group, one point, this is a very good thing. Second, this is reactive because this carbon, this is actually initially not that much deficient. It is stable, initially stabilized. But after the breakage, means elimination of nitrogen gas, this became very, very reactive. Why? Very reactive. Now question, first of all, what we know? Along with an uh, electron deficient carbon, if we attach some electron rich or electron donating group, it stabilizes. But in this case, what we have added? Electron withdrawing F2. Electron withdrawing. So what happens? It makes this carbon so much electron deficient. And it is a six electron species. So it, first of all, it is deficient. Second, this withdrawing make it disparate and it becomes so much disparate that it reacts with benzene. And what is result? See, we know that benzene contains three double bond. Actually, benzene is aromatic. We know. Because its, its property is more, far more different than simple double bond. But this is so much reactive, so electron efficient that it reacts with benzene. And what it result? What it result? It result a three member ring formation. How? It is electron deficient, so first attack will happen on this. Then it becomes H yeah, electron means electron rich, then the lone pair will attack here. So, in this uh, way, what it will result? This, this, CH, COO, it. Now, I believe you can, you got the answer. And that is why it is very interesting to understand what options are given. See, one option there, acetic acid, not possible, no aqueous medium. One, sorry, ethyl acetate, not possible because no proton source is there. 
Second, they have as a carbene. This carbene is very reactive, unstable. Consequently, it will be should not be the product. In the end, what another option I have given? This but here one double bond was there. How that is possible? Because it is attached to two hydrogen. How these two hydrogen could be eliminated and this carbon could bound? But logically, if you think this is so, now what will happen? So, ultimate option is the fourth option you understood of how that happened. Since it's a three member ring, three member, so strain, strain is there. Consequently, what happens? This undergo electrocyclic ring opening. How that? It can come here, this bond can go there, consequently this bond can go. So this is actually electrocyclic ring opening. Electrocyclic ring opening. So what it results? See, it was a six member ring attached to a carbon and cyclopropane. So now if it expanded, then in this case, as usual, I suggest you. First, draw everything as it is. Everything as it is. Like, let's draw in this way. This, just break this bond. C H C O O H. This, this, this. Now it becomes seven member ring, so equivalent to just draw the seven member. This is a strategy to draw. Please practice in your home. CO2 ET. So this is equivalence. Now this, this, this. So this is a cycloheptat tri in way. Okay. So in this way, this is produced. So by the way, if this question is appeared in your exam within 30 seconds after you say, you need to understand a few points. See, this is a diazole in attached to a carboxyl with a group electron withdrawal. Fine. When you irradiate any diazoalkane, it results in carbene. So this will result in a carbene, this and this. Carbene means six electron species attached to CO2 ET. First of all, six electron electron emission attached to CO2 ET and there is benzene. So definitely, this is very unstable and it, it will definitely react with benzene. And if you look at the options carefully, so first two options eliminated. Last two options. Even one option I have given is double bond, so it is not possible. Don't need to think anything. If you don't know also, based on proper elimination process, elimination of option, you can find out the last one is this one. But why I have discussed? Because I think you must know. So based on your common sense and knowledge, you should be able to solve the question. And by the way, some important information reaction we need to learn. Because even in this case, I have given easy examples, but always don't expect easy will come. If not, then what? We have to prepare for every situation. Then it will react with benzene and electrocyclic reunion will occur, and ultimately that is the problem. And whenever such question is given, is there any question where there is a six, uh, three member ring, six member ring, and one double um, single bond? No, it was not there, so it was not possible. It will further under reaction. So, very fast you need to think and how can you do this? First of all, study the reagent. Second of all, practice means read as well as write in the book such that your memory became photographic and your practice became efficient. And most importantly, please watch all the videos wherever you found. Like one of the option is me, there could be other many MCQ videos. Just first of all, read the basic reagents and then read those. I guess you will be able to answer the question properly. So this is the end of this discussion. Thank you for watching. If you really like my teaching, Please subscribe my channel, Give to the Mystery of Molecule, and please press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of every single video you upload. And please pass this video on to your friends so that they can also be benefited. And for my satisfaction as well as encouragement to make new videos, please like the video and make some good comments because it inspires a lot. Thank you again. Stay happy, stay blessed. See you in my next video.